firewall technologies. So in this video, we will discuss different type of firewall in introduction to firewall. As we know, the word firewall commonly describe a system, a device or a software. Normally, we place the firewall between trusted and untrusted network or zones. So a firewall is a security device which is used to stop and mitigate unauthorized access. Normally, that's what we say. But in today's world, firewall can do a lot of things for you. You can configure routing, advanced routing, dynamic routing, static routing, net, security policy, use, use you as a bridge mode. You can use them in distributed mode. You can configure policy. You can configure many things. But in simple word, normally we configure policy and firewall. So you define the policy as per your company and this firewall will grant or reject access to traffic flow between trusted and untrusted zone based on your firewall policy. Also keep in mind that a firewall monitor and check incoming and outgoing traffic related to the flow. So whatever the traffic is going and coming, so firewall will monitor those traffic as well. And you can generate report as well. You can see the logs as well in firewall. This firewall decide to allow or block specific traffic based on defined set of security rule and policy. So you need to configure maybe one company allowed social networking website, but other company may and may not want to allow this one. So you need to configure these rules and these policy and firewall and then the firewall will decide to allow or block the traffic. So a firewall can be a hardware, it can be a software and it can be both and it can be a cloud based and it can be a virtual firewall. Firewall are divided in three generation. The first generation of firewall technology consist of packet filter technology. The first generation was packet filter technology firewall. Then the things are changed and second generation firewall started with application layer technologies. And then in third generation, which we are now a stateful filter inspection, which we call them next generation firewall as well stateful which we will discuss a bit later so firewall we are using them to secure our home our enterprise our network from any sort of attack cyber attack but as i told you this definition is very limited to the firewall which we have nowadays but in simple words, firewall identify good traffic, good data and bad traffic, bad data. And as per your set policy, it will drop or it will allow the traffic. There are many firewall and many companies which they provide firewall solution. One of the famous one is checkpoint firewall. Second is Palo Alto Firewall and then we have many other vendor firewall, Fortinet Firewall, Cisco ASA Firewall, Cisco FTD Firepower and so many other firewall we have in the market. Now coming to the first type of firewall which is called Stateful Firewall. Basically Stateful Firewall maintain the state of connection when the packet is traveling so when the traffic is going out so it will maintain the state of connection which we call them 
स्टेट टेबल ऑफ फायर वॉल ऑन बेस ऑफ दिस स्टेट फायर फायर वॉल दिस स्टेट फुल एंड दिस स्टेट टेबल रिटर्न ट्रैफिक विल बी अलाउड ऑटोमेटिकली एंड डायनामिकली नॉर्मली आई गिव एग्जाम्पल टू माई स्टूडेंट सपोज देर इज अ सिक्योरिटी गार्ड ऑन योर डोर एंड इन द मॉर्निंग यू गो आउट फॉर मॉर्निंग वॉक सो इफ यू कम बैक टू योर होम सिक्योरिटी गार्ड विल अलाउ यू बिकॉज ही नो दैट दिस गाय बिलोंग टू दिस हाउस एंड ही गो आउट फॉर वॉक एंड ही विल कम बैक so he will never ask you anything and he will allowed you straight away security guard because he have the state table in his mind he know that this guy go out from house and he will return back so the same thing doing by state full firewall which is one of the feature up today next generation firewall so suppose this c1 send the traffic to h1 outside so when the return traffic came this next generation firewall will check the state table first and if they found the existing connection so the traffic will be allowed but keep in mind if somebody generate the first packet first time packet here so it will be block yeah if there is a rule to allow them then it will be allowed but if you initiate traffic directly from outside it will not be allowed because this connection table don't have information about this existing this new connection so that's why it's a good feature by the way this why we normally create only for tcp traffic normally we create one policy from source to destination because the return traffic is allowed automatically we don't need to create and why because of stateful connection because this next generation firewall keep the state table so when the traffic come back so it will check the state table if this is existing connection they will be allowed so this is called stateful firewall now let's go to the opposite of stateful is stateless like a jobless useless now stateless firewall wash the network traffic and restrict and block the packet on which category is restrict and block the packet based on source and destination address only this firewall restrict and block packet based on state value static value static means you need to define the source and destination like acl this is my source this is the destination block this traffic but if the return traffic is coming it means you need to create a new rule for return traffic and let me give you the same example suppose if you go out in the morning from your house for morning walk and when you come back the security guard will stop you because he don't remember anything you go out because he don't have a state table they will ask you show me the permission to go inside to the house you will say no i go out in this morning just for walking he'll say no so it means you need to create two different static value one for end to out another from out to in then the state list firewall will allow you like an acl you need to configure these things you need to identify the traffic from source to destination and the return traffic as well because state list firewall are not aware of traffic pattern and neither they know the data flow while the stateful firewall which we saw they keep the table So this is the main difference between stateful and stateless firewall. So it evaluates the packet content statically and does not keep the track of connection status definitely and state. Now coming to another type of firewall we have as packet filtering firewall. 
packet filtering firewall basically use ACL access control list and they can use standard ACL extended ACL name ACL dynamic ACL infrastructure ACL and they can use any sort of ACL to allow and deny the traffic based on those ACL value but anybody can bypass packet filter firewall nowadays because you can spoof your IP suppose you create a rule in this firewall and this packet filter firewall that the source has to be 10110 subnet and destination is 88 allowed DNS 53 and allowed and deny rest of the traffic and suppose your IP is 1022 which will be blocked by this rule deny any you can spoof your IP and make them 1011 range IP so this firewall will allow you easily because packet filter firewall just using ACL and they are using source and destination addresses and based on that they will decide normally packet filter firewall working on network and transport layer means the source and destination address source and destination port so you get the idea which is packet filter firewall now coming to another type of firewall we have is proxy firewall proxy basically work between two subnet between client and destination between two subset suppose you have a client inside you have local area network and they want to reach to the internet and you put the firewall between these two to work as a proxy so proxy normally we say that uh, I done proxy for my friend in college and university so behalf of someone we call them proxy so this firewall work behalf of this LAN so when this PC one want to reach to the internet so PC one will send the packet to proxy firewall proxy firewall will send the packet to the internet and when the packet came it will go to proxy firewall then proxy firewall will give it to the client so it means you cannot go directly to the internet there is someone between you and the internet which is a proxy firewall normally proxy firewall require more memory and disk also some proxy firewall store the data like a cache so when you go to the same website so they will rather than to send your packet to the outside they will give you from there so the access will be fast but this is single point of failure if your device is down so you are disconnected because you rely on this proxy firewall he is between you and websites and internet now coming to application firewall application firewall work on application layer of OSI model this application firewall block the contents and control the traffic based on application rather than source and destination port number it using application because port hopping is there you can change the port you can divert the port you can do many things to bypass the port number but an application firewall normally we have f5 and also the next generation firewall they allowed and denied traffic based on application rather than the port number so even if you change the port number but they will check the application if the application is Facebook they will block you they will check the signature rather than the port number this application server can be used as a cache server as well to increase the performance just like a proxy firewall but application firewall require more CPU definitely but this is a good feature and good type of firewall which filter the traffic based on application so rather than DNS 53 port now we are using application 
so at least is better than packet filter firewall and any other firewall where there is a less chances to bypass the traffic now coming to personal firewall personal firewall is typically software which is installed on your endpoint on your system and this personal firewall protect your end device from unauthorized intrusion and access normally in most operating system window or linux we have integrated personal firewall so personal firewall only protect a single host or device not the entire local area network it means you need to install personal firewall in each and every system individually and this firewall will protect only that host that system that single device only and there will be rule to allow permit or deny the traffic based on application only to that limited system only and window we have windows firewall so if you go there so there is firewall and also there is advanced firewall we are incoming and outgoing traffic you can create the rules to allow or deny and also in linux and other uh, host we have search sort of personal firewall even you can install the firewall such as uh, we have casper sky and other vendor firewall to install to protect the system now coming to another type of firewall which is called transparent firewall transparent firewall work on layer 2 as a switch and is take decision based on frame rather than packet and is taking decision based on destination mac address rather than destination ip address but you can use this transparent firewall to filter the traffic from layer 2 to layer 7 it's okay but this sort of firewall is invisible to the devices it's not like a gateway for a host it's invisible so device don't know that there is a firewall in our way there is some limitation when you are using transparent firewall you cannot configure dynamic routing maybe you will lose some other capability and features and checkpoint firewall we call them bridge mode because is bridge to network not to network basically is connect same ne uh, network same subnet so here we have 192.168.12 and here we have the same subnet so this is transparent normally we use suppose if there is an organization and they don't want to change their subnet they don't want to change their network they don't want to do any changes and they need a firewall so you can use transparent mode of firewall just plug and play and it will work like a switch because you don't need to change any configuration you don't need to change the network so we call them transparent firewall then there is another type of firewall which is in palo alto firewall we call them v wire either virtual wire firewall basically this firewall bind two ethernet interfaces together like a bridge and it will allow the traffic to pass between two interfaces which we call them v wire deployment and palo alto firewall and this sort of firewall doesn't require to change or configure anything in the network devices and it support a lot of thing but some of the thing you will lose like a routing and those other stuff so this is called v wire basically we use this in palo alto firewall now another type is traditional network firewall the old category firewalls traditional which take decision based on source and destination source and destination port it means it only use network and transport layer of osi model you need to configure the rule source ip destination ip source port destination port which can be bypass easily you can spoof your ip you can change the ip you can hop the port number it was the old type of traditional network firewall another type of firewall is called zone based firewall 
zone based firewall is somehow stateful firewall you can make cisco router as a zone based firewall there is some type of operating system ios router which you can make zone based firewall as well and also we use zone based firewall for next generation firewall as well like a palo alto you need to create zone to allow the traffic from one zone to another zone also in checkpoint somehow you need to create zone as well so this is also one of the feature of next generation firewall to create the zone so it's easy to deploy such things and it's easy to deploy and configure the policy to from one zone to another zone and also as i told you zone based firewall you can make cisco ios router as a zone based firewall as well another type of firewall we have cloud based firewall cloud based are software based cloud deployed network devices basically so this cloud based firewall is basically made to stop and mitigate unwanted access to private network your cloud network so because you are using cloud so definitely you need a cloud based firewall which is designed for modern business need this cloud based firewall will protect your application in the cloud so that nobody can do attack on your devices so it will st stop any cyber attack on your cloud solution such firewall we call them firewall as a services either security as a services just like a software as a services so we have firewall as a services and security as a services and cloud environment another type of firewall is virtual firewall when you deploy the firewall virtually rather than using physical appliance then we call them virtual firewall because you deploy them in your virtual environment and your virtualized environment where you want to protect your virtual environment and your physical environment keep in mind nowadays you can use any sort of operating system virtually as well where you can protect your network rather than to use appliances so rather than to use physical appliances you can deploy these firewall and virtual environment like we are where we have other solution as where where you can deploy them virtually and a similar like a physical appliance but it is virtually so you can save the space as well and you don't need the physical appliance and it will work similar like any physical firewall and also you can use virtual firewall to protect your virtual environment another type of firewall is called utm unified thread management technology so utm is give to you hardware and software device which is capable of various security function such as packet filtering proxy ids ips protection against malware application control and it can provide you antivirus anti spam content filtering web filtering and so many other stuff so whatever the next generation firewall provide you those thing provided by utm as well so then what is the difference between utm and next generation firewall whatever in next generation firewall you have in utm as well quality of services ips ids data leak prevention url filtering anti virus anti spam url and all those things are available here and there as well the main difference which utm and next generation firewall has utm take time because it will send the packet one by one maybe they will send them to url first then anti virus then anti spam then content filter then web filter then url filter it will take time suppose i would say in simple word suppose if utm take 1 hour to decide about the traffic next generation firewall will take 10 minute to decide and also there are 
some extra feature in next generation firewall such as deep packet inspection also user id content id and app id so somehow it's similar but the main difference is i told you is deep packet inspection and it's taking time to decide because they have different modules to send the packet and decide the packet and rather than next generation it will do it at once and finally we have next generation firewall so whatever we discuss in all type of firewall you will find the same feature and role in next generation firewall as well it means a next generation firewall you can configure the policy based on source ip destination ip yes based on source port and destination port yes and whatever we discuss in utm you will find here yes what is the difference there are four main difference between other firewall and next generation firewall app awareness user id and content id and deep packet inspection next generation firewall take can take decision based on user id user group second they can block the traffic and can allow the traffic based on application rather than port number so when you block facebook so whatever you use whatever you change the port or whatever you do they will block you and also content id content means it will check antivirus anti spam url filtering all those features are available in next generation firewall and the last thing is deep packet inspection it will check deeply the packet inside so they can stop you either they can allow your traffic normally i give an example of deep packet inspection of next generation firewall other firewall will take x ray suppose you are you have an issue in your head or maybe you have some other issue so what you can do normally you take x ray so x ray will not give you full detail of your body or maybe your head whatever you have an issue normally doctor suggest you to take x ray now after that we can do ct scan as well which can give you more information but we have another technology which is called dna test so dna can provide you each and everything whatever in your body inside and whatever so this deep packet inspection is like a dna test which is deeply and which can give you full information full and each information about your body so this is called deep packet inspection so next generation firewall is provide you performance fast processing it provide you all the stuff which we discuss ips ids url filtering which we call them a url content filter it can take the decision based on user id and it can block and allow the traffic based on application id and finally i said deep packet inspection at the end i would say where we can deploy the firewall you can deploy the firewall anywhere in your environment it can be a trusted boundary and it can be externally it can be internally it can be in your data center normally we use parameter firewall which we deploy on the edge which connected to the internet and your internal network and we deploy them inside a data center as well but it can be anywhere which you require to filter and where you want protection so you can deploy the firewall anywhere in your environment